Hi, r slash uh, home automation. What I have here is an amazing app. It's called Hound. You might have heard of it. Um, I thought, wow, this is a really cool app. wonder if I can reverse engineer this and probably make it do lots of cool stuff. So that's what I did. Um, see, see, look at this lamp here. Um, I uh, called it Bedroom in my Wemo app, but that doesn't really matter. I just uh, named it something because this is a bedroom. Um, but on the Wemo app, it is visible. There it is. And um, turn it on, turn it off. But I thought, you know, it'd be cool if I could control it with Hound. So I ended up reverse engineering Hound, um, and I made a mock server that this connected to, which basically relayed all the requests to the actual Hound server to Hound, and then I could parse uh, the queries that this sends and um, the voice recognition and stuff like that. And I used Node.js, which made me able to connect to the Wemo via Node.js. So I made it say, if query is turn on bedroom light, turn it on. So I can just do, OK, Hound, turn on bedroom light. Turning bedroom light on. It's amazing. Um, but it's also fully functional, so it's it's um, not just that. It's a very good app. Weather. The weather is 59 degrees and mostly cloudy in Carlsbad. Oh, wow, would you look at that coastal flood advisor? I'm going to read that. Um, but I can also say, okay, Hound, turn off bedroom light. Turning bedroom light off. But you can also do it... Uh, through lots of other things, smart things, for example. I don't have any smart things things, but uh, I will be getting some in the future. But they do have um, a good API, which I can access through that mock server and uh, control all the smart things through Hound. And it's also smart, so if I say, turn off bedroom light. It's already off. And stuff like that. It's great. 